been deeply struck by the respect in which our country and indeed the whole British Empire is held by the world. I've tried to put to them the typical British point of view and in particular to express to them first of all our universal desire to live and let live in peace. And secondly, our determination to keep our word that we have solemnly given in the covenant of the League of Nations. How much I hope that in striving for these two objectives and in doing justice to Abyssinia, we shall still be able to remain friends with our Italian ally in the Great War. Let the air carry tonight to Italy. These words, that whatever bitter things may be said, are the words of a real friend. This is why I made it clear in my speech that we stand firm in our support of collective resistance to all unprovoked aggression.